Howdy do Howligans. I apologize for the delay. Um, I super didn't want that to happen. Um, but for whatever reason, um, man, Steam wasn't working and now my controller's not working. So <laughs> it might have to be a mouse and keyboard kind of day. Um, because I've been trying to troubleshoot it and it's just not behaving, which is really <laughs> annoying. I hope you're all well. I'm really sorry for um, having to cancel last week's stream. I was just mega sick and I was like, you know what? It's not going to be entertaining if I'm like gross and miserable, right? So um, I'm really hope I'm like nervous now because I thought I charged my controller and it's telling me it's not charged. So I might have a broken cable or something. I uh, When it rains, it pours, man. <laughs> Ah, Beans, Discord notification is supposed to be automatic, but that system's also not working right now. Everything's breaking! God, I just cannot get a break, man. <laughs> let me let me do a quick little notification. I'm so sorry for making you all wait. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Uh, gosh. I, uh... <laughs> Scuff Sunday does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> Man, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we'll start calling these our Scuff Sundays. Um, alright, so, forgive me, I now have to play the game, um, using controls that I'm not familiar with. Um, so if I'm, like, super lost and confused, forgive me. Uh, I'm gonna hope that my- this new cable charges my controller. Um, but welcome back to Fallout 4. Last we left off, we ran into some Brotherhood of Steel people, and now we're going to ArcJet Systems? I'm gonna be so real. I don't remember what I'm doing here. Truly, I- I don't remember. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm sure the paladin will remind me, but, like, I fully don't remember what's happening. There we go. It took my YouTube a while to get in. Hey, good news. You missed nothing because everything was broken. Um, man, and I was so... I was early for stream, too. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Maybe being a little too on the nose there, friend. Can I... It's a terminal! Oh, there we go. Um, uh, but yeah, so I apologize uh, if I'm like <laughs> very uh, frazzled. I was early for stream on my end and everything was just not working. So I had to like restart my PC and like do all this stuff. And I don't know. I hope everything works now. <laughs> How's your week been? Hello. My week has been great. Um, I... Uh, I've been having a really good time working on a lot of fun commissions. Uh, I have a video that, fingers crossed, should be coming out on the 14th. Um, I just have to finish up the art for it and get the video exported. Uh, but I have had a very good week. Thank you for asking. Arknet Mail security concerns. From Thomas Reinhardt, CEO, to all security personnel. I'd like to have your team get together and implement a new security strategy for the ArcJet complex. This is our first contract for the USSA, and I don't intend to have any security slip-ups while we're working on the XMB booster engine. I want you to double the coverage 24 hours a day and install automated countermeasures inside the facility. I'd also like you to hire a consultant to figure out a better security password system for our terminals. The automated reset timer mailing out passwords is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, turrets. To Sam Brent, security lead. Oh, sorry, from Sam Brent to all ArcJet employees. Starting tomorrow, we'll begin distributing identification badges to all employees. These badges must be worn at all times. They are infused with a y low yield radioactive isotope that will prevent our internal security turrets from accidentally shooting any of our own employees. If anyone is caught near the entrance to the engine core without a badge, we are not liable for the injuries you may sustain. The turrets will go online in one week, so I suggest you sign up for your badge as soon as possible. All right, so I'm guessing I can find some badges then. Arcjet Mail Engine Core Accident. 
from Thomas Reinhardt CEO to Sam Brent security lead. Sam, what the hell is going on down there? How did a number how did a member of the press get all the way past security through the entire research facility and into the engine core without tripping our alarms or turrets? We have a real mess on our hands. And it's going to be your job to clean it up. I don't care how you do it, just make it all go away. If this comes back to bite us, I swear you're going to be the one that takes the fall. Ooh. Protectron control. Error. Protectron unit absent or damaged. Choose personality mode. If I do law enforcement, it might attack me, right? Uh, I'm gonna just leave it for now because I don't know what else might be in here. Ooh. I'm just gonna take all the garbage I can carry, I guess. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Oh. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. By what, 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 what? Synth. Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Sounds like you're scared of sense. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. I don't feel like I learned anything from that conversation. Hold on, who's the Institute? Like, can you explain? Uh, Mr. D Paladin? <laughs> oh yeah, we're an organization. Okay. What they do, pal? Details. <laughs> I guess I'll find out in a later... Uh, yeah, don't tell me. I'm just like... Don't give me di dialogue options, game, if you're not gonna elaborate. You know what I mean? This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retreat. Okay, well, you do that. I'm gonna just go looting. I'll I'll catch up. Don't wait up. <laughs> uh... Man, this place has already kind of been picked clean. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Okay. I'll see what I can figure out, Dance. Lab analysts terminal. I think the game expects you to know about them already. Okay, I do have a question. Um, they were referenced to Fallout 3? Oh, were these the people who made, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Rivet City Security Guy. Is that the group that this is referencing? Reminder, password security. From San Brent Security Lead to all staff. This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, the suspension of network privileges, and or disciplinary action. Please do your part in keeping ArcJet systems secure. Harkness and Zimmer. Right. Thank you. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> Thank you for explaining. Um, all right, we're going to go back. Uh, automated password change. Automated password change notice. According to our records, your terminal password has not been changed in three months. For security password purposes, your password will now be reset. Your new password is 9YB3N. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Okay. I'm not going to remember that. Here's to hoping it's not important. <laughs> hey, quick reminder, y'all. Make sure you're updating your passwords regularly. And for the love... For the love of Pete, man, don't make your password football. Please. It is one of the most common passwords 
um, for English speakers, okay? If you're an American and your password is football or football123, if, if it includes the word football, please change it. Like, make it hard for people to get your information, you know what I mean? Um, uh, lab controls. Accessing prototype interlink. Unable to establish connection to the prototype. Okay. Security door control. Open. Cool. I didn't even have to hack this one. Nice work. Let's get one more. Oh. Oh, this place makes sense? Off rig, off rig, off rig. I feel so bad. This feels awful. Like, I know they're fighting me, but still. They have big iRobot vibes. Like the, the, uh, what's the word? Design? Institute pistol. The Institute took this place over? Well, that's not good. I don't think I like the Institute terribly much, so. Huh? Who said that? I thought they were all dead. <laughs> Overactive sensors. Nothing more. What the hell? Are their sensors still active? Bruh, I don't like that at all. Um, let me... Oh, I have to figure out how to do my, um... What's it called? Quick keys on keyboard and mouse. Curious. Who is talking? Always talking to me. I don't know what you're doing, Dance, but you're on your own. I'm exploring. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You're a big, strong paladin. Probably. Ah! Come on, round the corner. Don't hurt my dog. Thanks, Dance. You okay, dog meat? You're okay, baby. Biometric scanner. I think I need all of this stuff, so I'm just gonna have to hoard it all. I think I need this stuff for building turrets in settlements. Number keys, I think. Number keys not doing anything. Oh no. I'll f uh no, that's scroll wheel. I'll figure it out. Hopefully my controller will charge a bit and then we can uh get some expert gamer gameplay. Institute weapons aren't that good. That's good to know. Thank you. I was just grabbing them for money, I think. Um, but I'll drop them. Actually, I'm actually kind of good in the caps department if I'm remembering right. So Oh. Nice. Use Tesla Arc? What the hell? Ooh, circuitry! Ooh, I need that. Okay, so this place... See, I will say, as somebody who's, like, here for the settlement system, and I think it's exciting and fun, um, I really like that I feel more of an impetus to, like, look around places now, because I'm like, oh, I need to get circuitry so I can build turrets, right? Like, I feel like it... it the crafting system gives dungeon diving more purpose, if that makes sense. Oh, come on. You're kidding. There we go. Yeah, nice. it feels more rewarding. I think that's a good way to phrase it. Uh, take off. Hold on. Uh, arrow keys? Nada. Not doing nothing. Huh. Okay, that's a big old circle. Like how alchemy gives you reason to explore in Skyrim. Yeah, although I'll be honest, I never got super far in alchemy in Skyrim. Like, I mostly did potions of uh, cure disease in my survival playthrough. Um, 
Oh, is the aluminum can uh, canister very heavy? Well, that's inconvenient. Um, I do really need aluminum. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's just store all my junk. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to remember. Um, these crafting tables, they have universal inventories, correct? If I leave all my stuff here, it's not trapped in this building forever. I forget. <laughs> Zane, hello, how are you? Not correct? Aw, oh, beans, thank you for telling me. All right, hold on, let me take everything back. All right. That sucks. I was hoping they'd have universal uh, stuff. Oh, no, that's right, because I need to have the people and the, the, the supply lines. All right. Uh, beep, 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 beep. I don't think I can wear the Brotherhood fatigues with all of the um, pieces, so I'm gonna drop this. Um, we'll drop the pistol. Cool. All right, we'll do that, and I'll just keep grabbing garbage. Compromised most of the facility. Ooh, oh god, that's so much brighter than I anticipated. Oh, I got so much duct tape. Let's freaking go. Toy rocket ship. That's fun. I probably shouldn't be picking up... Oh, stealth boy. I probably don't need that the way I need other things, but like, eh, it should be fine. God, Dance is so impatient. Let me let me have a look around, man. Failing at not grinding a GBF. Go grind! Play your game! Don't wait on my account. You know what I mean? Oh, that's just a shortcut. Um key dokey. Rocket is plastic and maybe rubber, so it has its uses. Yeah, I guess I'm just trying to prioritize, like, circuitry. Ooh! Yeah. This art is great! Will robots rule the world? <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, see? Oh, terminal. Hold up. There is a skill magazine. Thank you for telling me. Okay, let me see if I can find it first. Uh, and if I leave the building and don't have it, then I'll double back. Wait, Mars Shot Project? What the hell? After six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars Shot Project's propulsion and communication systems. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put ArcJet on the map. Oh, was that the skill? Oh, cool, I found it! <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> I will say, um, in terms of backseating, like, if you know a location I'm going into has a bobblehead, just tell me there's a bobblehead there and I'll see if I can find it first. That does help me because it sucks to have to go and double back later. <laughs> I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory McClellan to the XMB booster team today. There are a few people who can match Dr. McClellan's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems, so this truly was a coup. It cost the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him away from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it'll be well worth every dollar. We promised the USSA that the booster would be ready at least a year before their July 2078 launch date. With Dr. McClellan at the helm, we should be able to meet that deadline with time to spare. Didn't the bombs drop in October of 2077? That sucks. Oh, hold on, that's the wrong one, sorry. Nope, wrong button. Give me a minute. Sorry, you'll be fine, Dance. <laughs> As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened at ArcJet Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now, with the XMB booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, ArcJet appears to have received a second chance. Thanks to Dr. McClellan, we're on schedule and under budget. The USSA is thrilled with our progress and is already talking to me about future contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending the year on a better note. Oh boy. Oh my man, do I have bad news for you. 
Not a fan of settlement, but I did like it in 76. Here's the thing, I totally get why people are very divided on them. So far, I think they're fun, but it might, might change my tune when I have to go hunting for very specific parts. Dr. McClellan's informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, there's a we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get sleep at night. Hmm. The USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shot project, and ArcJet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I've fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know what we're delivering, when we're delivering the XMB boosters, so they can take their pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. All I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will deliver be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McClellan solves our weight problem soon, or we're never getting a we're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. You gotta love reading the hopeful thoughts folk had before the fall. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> bummer. I can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. We've scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing in the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot their pictures through the thermoglass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. Poor people of 77 never got to see Halloween. Yeah, I do like that the games will have like Halloween decorations up and stuff. It's interesting. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB boosters test firing event. Somehow, a photographer managed to, managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration, and burned the photographer to ash! What? Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down, and I may as well have a for sale sign out front. Is no one gonna be like... Hey, you know how we sent that that journalist to ArcJet and they never came back? Like, how, how are you going to disappear an entire person? Uh, that's insane. All of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Marshot project. They're telling me that we may, they may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. Well... About, hey, good news! You don't have to work anymore! Um... <laughs> hey, excuse me. Um... Dance. Okay, I don't want to go that way, because I want to explore the rest of this place first. Ooh, I can unlock this one. Beans! There we go. Sweet. Uh... Cool. Thank you, safe. Oh, God. God dang it, dog meat. Freaking dropping from the sky. You scared the pants off me, pal. What the hell? Ooh. Frig. All this cool stuff is heavy. <laughs> Shoot. Um. All right. What can I... I can drop this. And that. And that. Okay. Yoo-hoo. Any nerds? 
round here. Uh, nothing. Okay. Wait, dance. I still have more exploring to do. Ooh! Military grade circuit. Oh man, I should be able to make a turret after this. I'm finding all kinds of good doodads. Um. Anything else lying around on the ground? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cotton yarn. Ooh. Surprise, cotton survived 200 years. Weight limit, the number one enemy in <laughs> Talkford. Yeah, I know there's ways of increasing my weight limit, too, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, hmm. I'll take the overdue book. Nah, I don't feel like having to go hunt that down. Uh, uh, uh. No, I'm not. I'm not carrying too much. Shush. No. No, I'm not. Shut up. Why are there just hands in a sink? Bruh. <laughs> Why? The overdue book you should get? Okay. I think someone mentioned that there's a quest for those. I don't know if I'm going to 100% it, because frankly, that sounds like a huge pain, but... I'll grab it if I see it, I guess. Right? That seems to make sense. Anything in here? Ooh! I need aluminum so bad. Alright. Oh, I should also save. Bro decided to wash his hands later. Hey, quick reminder. Wash your hands. Please. Okay? Um... I saw someone on TikTok was talking about this news article that was like, Gen Z washes their hands like 15 times a day. And it's like, hold up. How many times a day do you pee? Right? You should be washing your hands every time. And then every time you eat and cook. So like, yeah, 15 actually makes sense. Why are you saying that like it's a bad thing? I thought it was crazy that someone thought that would be a good content for an article. But I guess the point is the rage bait. Mark, hello! Welcome in! Alright, it's time for some cool hacker dog moments. I'm gonna be so smart. I'm still- I'm still gonna be so smart. It's fine. Okay, Chaos had one hit. That worked. Ooh, tries reset on the first one. Nice. Uh... I will say I prefer controllers overall, but this minigame is a lot faster with mouse and keyboard. Uh, I think that's all the duds I can find. Oh yeah, yes. there we go. Cool, Arknet mail floor safe. As requested, I've had a floor safe installed. This should allow you to pay for any on incoming deliveries or store valuables until they can be transferred. Let me know if you have any issues. Uh, press? I realize that our announcement regarding the Mars Shot project has caused quite a lot of excitement with the national media. If any members of the press are requesting statements or interviews, please direct them to our public relations department. Do not attempt to answer any questions or give any information regarding the project unless pre-authorization has been provided. I was hoping there'd be an open the floor safe button. But it's not looking like it, it it's there. So I'm going to just do it myself. Yeah, also that, Kirby, right? Oh, come on. Brig. Only time I don't wash my hands when cooking is when I'm making myself something simple that's only for myself. Yeah, I think like it, there's a few things where maybe it's not yes. necessary. But I don't know. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to 
Wash my dang hands, man. Cool! I did it! Nice, nice, nice. Now I go... Oh, shoot! That sucks. Sorry, pal. Uh... I don't remember where I came from. I think it was up here? Yes. Yeah, okay, it's this way. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Okay. Paladin. Keep the noise down. This place is crawling with hostiles. Okay. I honestly wonder how people manage to keep clean in this universe. Yeah, like... Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Yeah, because, like, first you have to purify water, and then you'd have to purify enough to bathe yourself. I guess sponge baths would probably be pretty standard. Look at this place. Describes it a field day. Oh, these things are really heavy. Aww. Um. Uh, <laughs> okay. Whoa! This is in pristine condition. Transmitter should be in the control room. Hey, the <coughs> Excuse me. Like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. Okay. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Oh Open gosh, I forget that I can give dog meat chain. stuff. Thank you for All the reminder. Watch our backs. I'll start making uh, dog meat take some stuff if need be. So I'm guessing. Yeah, the elevator won't open, so we're gonna have to go the long way around. Okie dokie. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, engine start button. I probably shouldn't press that, right? Ooh, technician's personal log. Junk jet. Excellent. What the hell is this thing? This thing a homemade flamethrower? Oh, it shoots junk? I feel like I should take it because it's a unique item, but I don't want to shoot my junk because I want my junk to become settlement scrap. But it's also probably going to be... He oh, it's heavy... Oh god, that's right. I'll put it in dog meat. Thank you. Bubby. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hello, my darling. I have gifts for you. Um. Take the junk jet and. Can I just give uh does 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 dog meat have a um a weight limit? Or can I just in theory keep giving dog meat stuff? I have gifts for you. Give some trash. This trash will make our home nice and safe, all right? Also, I gave dog meat a little bandana, so I did give dog meat a gift. Does have a carry limit? Okay, I'll just uh dump whatever I can until it tells me to stop. Cool. All right, I also picked up a little uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. 
I picked up a, 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 a tape, but I don't remember what it was called. This one? Why the heck are they making us record this? Um, this is Technician Rand, Archjet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us. Especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss the tape and we'll start a new one? Another one, right? Or just the one? Sorry, that was a good time for a quick snack. Got it. Um. Nice. All right, time to do more Hacker Man. So I love how some some dude was like, "I'm gonna prove I'm a genius by building a junk machine." <laughs> Accidentally misclicked. That sucks. Uh. Uh. Nice. There we go. How's the time you be doing? Oh yeah, so, <laughs> oh hold on, alert. The engine core is operating on emergency power to conserve energy, all non-critical systems, but the power options. Start auxiliary generators. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yesterday on stream, engine I was power eating grapes and someone's like, is Ari grapes? Engine fueled, primed. And standing by for your command. Oh shit! Oh hold on, I, don't, I think that's glass. Gone. I don't know what that button did. Oh, am I supposed to click this? You are the command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. I hope you're alive, five. dance. Do um. I learned that grapes can give you GERD, so thankfully I'm doing okay, but that was a bummer to learn. Engine firing. 
Where did all these synths come from, I wonder? Like, I wonder how long they've been here for. Wait, did I just launch a spaceship? Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Cool? Just a test fire? Okay, cool. I was like, that seems bad, maybe. Uh, while he's taking a little kneel, I'm gonna just take all of these fusion cells. This is the first time the games have been introduced since, right? They were, like, technically in three, but... Oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that's right. They were they were androids in three, so now they have like a sort of official terminology. I'm curious to find out what they were doing here. Going down. How is this elevator in service? Elevators need to be serviced regularly. There's no way this thing would still be working. Come on, bud, you can fit. Come on, dance. All right, fine. I'll see you down there. <laughs> He'll come up with me, right? Come on, buddy. Oh, hey, dog meat. You're all I need. I don't need that guy. He's a nerd. Oh! Whoops. Oh, nar. Oh, I dropped that. Okay, wait. Elevator. Alright, I'm gonna have to just drop back down. Hold on. I made a mistake. It is I who is the fool. Going down. Alright, I'm coming back, Dance. <laughs> Going up. I used to stay in an unspecified hotel chain and realized all their elevators were three years out of date. The front desk laughed when I brought it up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a phone number you can call to report that. It might depend on your state or country, but I think there's like hotlines you can call. Thanks, Dance. I hope that's the last of them. These synths look old question mark are these like secret prototypes i wonder man i'm finding so many good circuit boards this is great cool i heard what you called me and i'm reporting this to the brotherhood of scribes <laughs> Ooh, I got the deep range transmitter. Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. How did you know this thing was here again? Um All right, dog meat, let's go, bud. Oh wait. Aha. Bing bong. Going up. They were probably trying to acquire rocket technology. Oh, they're what is called Mark One. They're the earliest since you'll encounter. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I think it's interesting that they're here specifically, right? Like I have many questions. My light got turned off. <gasps> Hello, dog me. What'd you find? Let's move out. Dog me. Where'd you go, pal? Oh, thanks, baby! <gasps> You're so good at finding! <gasps> yes, you are! Mm -hmm. Thank you, dog meat. Uh, bleh. I'll take a Bunsen burner, sure. Paint can might have some aluminum in it. Cool, yo. Load fungus. Oh, I should talk to you. Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, 
but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Oh. Righteous Authority. Critical shots do double damage and the critical meter fills 15% faster. That's kind of cool, I guess. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. Because I'm a There's genius. No doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. Oh no. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager. Okay, reward. yeah, you want me or to join? You could join the Brotherhood of Steel. Mm -hmm. And make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I don't know, because the Brotherhood has been different in every game I've played. Uh... So, what would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Do Good I? Luck. Wait, no, where are you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know where you are, my man. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, bye, dance. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. So the Cambridge Police Station is where they're holed up. Got it, got it, got it. Okie dokie. Let's make a nice, healthy, hard save. Um, One of the best guns in the game for energy weapons. Good to know. I... Have to figure out what tree the energy weapons scale on now, but... Alright, so first things first, I have a ton of scrap I gotta get rid of. So, let's... Go to Sanctuary. Scrap this junk. Um... Try F for Hotbar. Oh, thank you! I'm hoping... Actually, let me see how my controller charging is faring. Um... Give me a sec, I gotta uh, get my other wire. Let's see. What percent are you at? Only 25? Why you charge so slow? It should work for now. I'll switch to the controller and I'll I'll use it till it dies. <laughs> um Alright, so let's store all my junk. And then. What about just keeping your controller plugged in? Here's the challenge. It is plugged in. For some reason, it just doesn't charge, I guess, while plugged in. Um, can I build a turret now? Why can't I... Scroll through this... Oh, no. My controls are weird. Why? Uh... God dang it. Hold on. I can't... I got word of a settlement that needs our help. What the hell? I'll mark it on your map. Go. 
Where did you spawn from? Was that what was giving me the controller issue? He was trying to talk to me? Hold on, I was just trying to... Oh no, it's still skipping. Why is it skipping? Bruh, I don't understand. <laughs> Why can't I scroll through this? Um... It's like skipping. I might have to go back to keyboard. Ah, oh, boo. It's probably because my setup is uh not really uh 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 designed for this. Uh or I should say that um getting a controller to work in Fallout 4 is a nightmare. Um Defense turrets. Can I build these now? Let's freaking go! I can build turrets! Um, some of these require power, though. Well, shoot. Um. Where do enemies come from? Where can I put this? Should they just be kind of all over the place? I find that stuff charges slower when attached to my computer. Yeah, it's almost probably that's that's probably the case. Bridge near the front. Machine gun turret doesn't need it. Yeah, maybe I'll just go for the machine gun turret then. Uh, hey pal, I'll just have you set up here. Maybe further back. Yeah, we'll hide it behind the mailbox. Cool. Hooray! Rooftops and roadways are optimal. That's the primary ingress for baddies. <laughs> um. Oh, and the get back big, 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 big gap by my house. That makes sense where the uh, vault is. That's so smart. Thank you all. This place, right? This way, yeah. Because there's the little borders. So we'll um, we'll just post you up next to this here tree. Cool. All right. I feel better having some defenses here now. Um, cool. If I build more beds, will more people come? Like, if I clean up all the houses and make them nice, will people want to move here? These dressers are still in pretty nice condition. Um, let's put a bed here. We'll put a nice bed here. Oh no, oh no. The rotation's kind of funky, but there we go. I just hope I put the head in the right place. Need a beacon for that? Need a radio transmitter. Oh, follow the Minutemen quest line for a tutorial. Got it. All right, cool. I won't. I won't do too much settlement stuff today. I don't want to make y'all watch me just <laughs> go crazy. Uh, oh, I have to figure out how to get out of this menu. Is it just escape? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> cool. Oh, okay, dog meat. I need. I need your stuff, dog okay. meat. Thanks, pal. All right, uh, and I'm gonna just store all my junk. There we go. McMuffin, welcome in. All I did was um, go through ArcJet Systems with Dance and uh, schlepped a bunch of stuff back for the sanctuary base. Bob, hello. All right, so I want to look at my quests. Talk to the settlers at Oberlin Station. Clear Starlight Drive-In. Okay. I'm thinking we should actually go to Diamond City. Uh, uh, even if I don't advance the main quest too much, I feel like I've been putting that off for far too long. Um, so what we'll do is... Uh, I'm not going to do more um, stuff with what's-his-name. Safe details. <laughs> Did I set off the rocket? I set off the boosters? I don't know if that's the same thing, but I did set off the boosters. 
Oh, beans, wait. I should make a chest for my weapons. You want their defense to equal their food and water combined? Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, shoot, thank you. All right, you know what? Let me get to Diamond City and then I'll go and do more. The next time in my settlement, I'll make a box for... Uh, I'll make a box for weapons and junk and I'll clean up my house. Nuka Cola. Can I go in this building here? No, I don't think so. Nothing in here, nothing in here, nothing in here. Okay. All right, dog meat. We're just going to keep on moseying. I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want to get attacked by a bunch of ghouls right now. I don't want to die. Quiet, Sin. You're not talking your way out of this. Wait, what's happening Someone, here? Please. Help! This thing is going to kill me! What the hell? Please. you got to help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's going to kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. There's two dudes named Art, and they're identical. The synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Oh, no, Please, not this. You can't let that thing do this. Uh. Hey, hey. I'm on your side. I just need you to tell oh, me the truth. Oh, no. Then maybe I can help. I'm telling you, I'm not a sin. You have to believe me. Okay. Um, all right, all right, okay. So my persuasion check failed and he said he's a synth. I don't think he is then? Because if my persuasion succeeded, he would have said something else, correct? Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never going to stop. I have to kill. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Look, all I need is Please for you to point down the Please pass the check. Gun. Then we can talk this through. I... Yes. All right. I'm putting the gun away. Thank you, oh. Art. Thank God. Now I just have to dig two graves. Bro, I That's knew it. Why are you talking about digging graves? Ow. Ah, nice. Look at all the blood. What just happened? So shaky. Christ. I, uh, I need to get out of here. No, you need to Excuse explain me. yourself. I can't. You're just... You're just gonna rock away? Synth component. Wait, so he was a. So he was a synth. Huh? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold. Yeah, so synth components will tell you if someone's a synth, right? So, why did a synth want to? I'm so confused. Was this synth trying to replace Art the human? They replaced their human counterparts? Wait! I thought they were manufactured to look a certain way. You're telling me they can just change how they look? Oh, that is... Concerning. Poppy pin box, let's go. Oh, this is the remnants of a schoolhouse. Oh, wait, so can I go inside the school then? They are made to look like a specific person. I'm very interested to learn more about since now. Dog meat, what'd you find? I don't want to fight them. I just want to get where I'm going. We'll go this way. Huh. This means anyone can be a synth. Your mailman, your boss, even me. Uh huh. 
Anything cool to find? Ooh, can I go on the bus? That's kind of fun. Huh. Excuse me. Sit rotunda. I'm gonna leave that for now. Oh, CIT, Cambridge Institute of Technology? Question mark. Oh, these are the uh the yeah, preservation shelters. Anything in here? Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, that just breaks my heart. A bunch of stuff for a little kid. Oh man. Commonwealth Institute of Tech. Okay, I was super wrong. My bad. <laughs> oh, that's a really pretty skyline. Bro, that's so cool. That's sweet. Oh, I don't need my flashlight on right now. Military frequency lost. Wreck of the USS Riptide. Oh, there's enemies here. I thought this was a bridge. It is a bridge. There now. There's just also no. bad guys. What the hell was that? Ah, Raiders. Was Where'd the little bitch go? Hey, excuse you. I'm not that small. <laughs> oh, yeah. beans. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Stop hurting me. Stop hurting my dog. I have fats. I don't remember how it works on the keyboard because my controller's not working today. God, that guy's real beefy. I'm gonna have to get him with my shotgun, I think. V, thank you. Uh. Oh man, I gotta turn that radio off or it's gonna screw with my bot again. God dang it. Yeah. Oh, beans. Uh, 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 uh. Was that V? Yeah, V's not doing what I thought it would. God, this guy's beefy. Park mains. Oh god, that gave me so many rads. Yeah. Oh god, this is going to take forever. <laughs> try Q. Thank you. All right, hold on. Let's try uh a different weapon. Um It's called shooting. There we go. Thank y'all. How? 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 Critical. Ow. Ow. Ow, I died. Ugh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, Kirby, thank you. A mod that'll make the radio music royalty free would be really helpful. Um. Oh, dances rifle. Duh. Um, is this game like Fallout 3 where you have to have a specific stat spread for laser weapons? Because truthfully, I don't remember. Um, his thing is called the Righteous Authority. I don't? Hell yeah. Alright. I'll save closer to the bridge this time and 
be better at this fight. Hey, on the bright side, we can get new clothes for dog meat. Oh, hell yeah, I leveled up. Let's do that. Um... Aw, oh, beans. I have not thought this through at all. What do I want? Um... How do I navigate this menu? Oh, this is awful on mouse and keyboard. It doesn't... This, this control scheme makes no sense, man. I'm... I can't... Move the cursor to the edge? That doesn't make- that is- I'm so sorry. That is not intuitive. I- why do I have to drag it? Like, what? That's so weird. Okay, that's fine. Um... What's who I want first? Uh... I do have a lot of pistols that I've been using. So maybe I'll grab the pistol perk. I really want a sniper rifle, but I think the sniper perk is a lot harder to earn. I forget where that sniper perk was. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a lot harder to get. So I'll grab the pistol perk, I think. Because I've been using a lot of pistols recently. Clara's Fallout Play is my Super Bowl. Wait, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl is usually... I think it's always in February, right? I'm going to be honest. I'm not a sports dog. I I don't... Uh, I don't really follow American football or really any sports for that matter. To be clear, no beef, right? I just... I've, I've just never really been a big sports person. Um... Although I was very intentional with today's schedule, I wanted to make sure I wouldn't uh, uh, overlap with the Super Bowl in case anyone does want to watch it. I'm British. What's the Super Bowl? Okay, so um, in American football, there's uh, the like the American League is the what National Football League I think it's called or something. Yeah, NFL, right? Um, which I'm sure for Brits is very confusing. Uh, but essentially, what that means is. Um, uh, it's like the biggest game in the uh, National Football League, right? So it's like, like our uh, like the Olympics. If it was only one match, I'm not really good at explaining stuff. I'll be honest. Ow! I don't want to be in the water. I don't want to be in the water. I don't want to be in the water. Ah! Get me out of here! Someone keeps throwing grenades. Don't hurt my dog. Oh man, this laser beam is real good. Oh, this guy's punching me. That's why my body hurts. The event with the highest TV ratings of the year. Does it really? I... I got no idea, man. Um, ow. Don't stab me. Don't stab me, bro. I'm not bothering you. Alright, where's the big boy? Oh, yeah. This, this, this laser gun is quite good. There we go. You'll be okay, dog meat. I love you. Oh, hello, I bought. Where's your body? Wasn't his body over here? Oh, I dusted it. Um, It's kind of cool that raiders get power armor. It feels like they're more of a threat. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm sorry for crushing your skull, man. I didn't mean to. That's disrespectful. I'm sorry. Oh! You're kidding! Well, 
on the bright side, I have a stage. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, my stupidity. Oh, I'm sorry to make y'all watch me do this fight three times. Here's to hoping this is the last one. I left, but I am sorry. Hey, listen. As long as it's entertaining, right? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> if we can all walk away laughing, that's really all I can ask for. Oh, God dang it. You can just run across the bridge. I know, but like, I want to know what's here now. And it's like the sunk cost fallacy of like, well, I've already done this twice. I have to see it through, you know. Leave my dog alone. Leave my dog alone. All right, where are you? Woo! Where's the other guy? Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, I'm hurt. Please don't die. Please. Please. Ooh. <laughs> Ow! Don't fall in the water! Oh god, these controls. Stop hurting my dog. Friggin' so rude, man. I bought- I, now is not the time. I bought, please. God dang, this dude- I need to figure out what weapon this guy has so I can take it for myself. All right, and now we're gonna just quick save so I don't have to do this all again. Okay. The most dangerous enemy in Fallout, the armed landmine. All right, we're gonna... I, be, I mean, you're not letting me, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna quick save again. All righty. What weapon did this dude have? Ooh! I'll take a fancy pistol. I leveled up for that. Alright, now this time, I'm not gonna get blown up. The problem is I don't know where that landmine is. I don't know where the landmine that blew me up is this time. Weird. It was inside the door. It seems to have already gone boom. I mean, you know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? I'll just take it. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, Morg. Have a good one. Uh... But yeah, sorry. I meant to say this, but I had to focus on fighting. Um... The American Super Bowl tends to be a really big event because people will, like, throw a party and all watch it together. And it used to be the case that the commercials were also really good, but I don't know. I don't really watch it for the commercials anymore. They haven't felt fun. I don't know. I'll take a skull bandana. Okay, dog meat. Where'd your... Oh, I unequipped it hey. from you. I'm a little ding-dong. All right, well, uh... I have a new gift for you. Um, it is called a skull bandana. There you go. Look at you. You're adorable. I love you. You're so good. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, radio. I just want to explore. God dang it. Uh, oh, for a second I thought that short pipe rifle said sniper rifle and I got all excited for no dang reason. Ooh! Hell yeah. Wasteland Survival Guide. Farming the Wastes. First issue. Cool. What else did you find, boy? Just that box? Hey, you did a good job. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, no. I thought that was a wall save. Nice job, baby. You did good. Is there something under the bed? Nope. Okay. A pipe rifle can be made into a sniper rifle? I can make one? Oh, 
this is exciting. Seems a friend in Megaton's been able to reach all the way to Boston, right? That's what made me excited. It was like, hey, I helped write that. The Rifleman perk affects all single-shot rifles, including lasers, snipers, just increases other things too, but Rifleman increases base damage. Oh! Remind me to grab that perk later then. Thank you. I appreciate that you looked that up for me. <laughs> it's very helpful. All right, cool. And now I don't have to die to that bridge a fourth time. Hunting rifle, best sniper build. You can make the scope. Oh, I want to do that later. But where is this? Is this time in city? Oh, that's a lot of gunfire I'm hearing. No, Diamond City is still south of here. So where is this? Is this like... Boston outskirts? What are you firing at? What are we shooting at? Super mutants? Okay. Oh, he's hiding. Legendary super mutant skirmisher? I don't know if I can fight that, man. Yeah, we're definitely close. I just saw a sign that said two Diamond City, and then these are all Diamond City security, so. You're in Diamond City now. <laughs> Dog, we be careful up there, baby. Yeah, no oh, gross. I really have to say, I think the environment design in this game has been really, really fun to play. Um, unyielding chest piece. Can I wear this? Plus three to all stats when you're at 25% or less health. Oh, cool. Fancy. Um, but this environment design's a lot of fun. Ooh, gross. Just a... Bag of innards. I'm not going to ask why you have a human jaw in your inventory, sir, because I don't think I want the answer to that question. Look, Mom, on the rooftops! Was that pistol good? Should I grab it? Sure, I'll take the pipe rifle. Why not? Um. Pop a pin! Oh, hello! Sorry, I didn't see you there, sir. Just having a little seat, I guess. I want to go talk to those security guys, but first I want to investigate this place more. Clara presents Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I've never played that game. Ooh, I can buy a house in Diamond City? Let's go! Although I already have a house. Like, it almost feels wrong to get another one when I have one in Sanctuary, you know what I mean? Is the security still here or did they leave? Aw, oh, beans, I bet they had cool dialogue. Uh, water. 2,000 caps? I think I'll be able to pay for that. I have... Quite a bit of caps, I think. Oh, no. I have 1,500. I don't know what this building used to be. Cafe. Alright. Well, hey, on the bright side, we're in the right direction. You can pull mods from other weapons? That I did not know. Diamond City, this way! Hi. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? 
You're right kind of gal. Okay. I mean, the alternative is dying, so... <laughs> you don't really have a choice. Protected by the wall. This way. Diamond City. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Quincy, isn't that the settlement that got wiped out? <gasps> Wait, I think you're right. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. I like her um physical body animations. They're pretty fun. I wonder, did they mocap for this game? Back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Freedom, oh, America! Did ah! I bring you into this argument, Miss? Q Eagle screeches. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe. Happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I do think um a journalist as a character is a lot of fun. Um What is this place anyway? Why? Oh, okay. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now. What brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby! Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Oh. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. 
Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. Beans. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours Oh, on no! The yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay. I'm... Don't tell me if I'm right. I'm just spitballing here. So there's missing persons, right? And the Diamond City security isn't investigating. My conspiracy theory is that there's some sort of synth attempt to, like, kidnap people and replace them or something. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. Sure if thing, it pal. were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. What's your take on Diamond City? It's safe is what it is. Diamond City's got the best security anywhere. Like to think I have a hand in that. But I was asking about you. Come on. Just need to jot the reason you're here down in the logs. Well, who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. Oh! But there's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? Oh, I was right? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but Beans. I can't. I got orders. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. Fun fact, for those wondering, Green Jewel and Diamond City are not mutually exclusive. Diamonds can be almost any color? I didn't know that. I know that diamonds can come in shades of, like, you know, between white and brown and junk. I didn't know they could be other colors. That's really cool. You gotta speak up. Death. The Institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, alright? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know... There's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Okay. Just tell us where to go, darn it! Yeah, this guy's useless. Oh, hello. <clears throat> hey. Hi. Officer. Head on inside. No. Hold on. Uh, I want to talk to that person. Is it this guy? <clears throat> What's up? That guard got drip. I mean, hey, football gear seems like a pretty good way to... Ooh. There's an elevator. Remember the bald guy? Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. And I appreciate that you're just telling me without spoiling it. So I'm, I'm excited to find out. Oh, are we in a baseball stadium? Wait, I thought they built a wall out of like sheet metal. That's actually really smart. Sporting arenas have quite a bit of security. <gasps> okay, that's cool. That's a really cool concept for, oh, it's, Fen yeah, it's Fenway. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. 
Oh, because it's like yeah, a baseball diamond. Oh long my long god. <laughs> Worrying so I was wondering much. why it was called Diamond City. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> Just walks away. Hey, Piper, to newcomers, if the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Uh... The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. There's a mod that makes all canines in the game friendly. Wait, that's actually so cute. No more dead dogs. Oh, I I just might grab that then. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know are stadium seating and like careful luxury them. apartments. The institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. I just what wanted the Diamond City anyway. I just wanted a copy of the newspaper, man. Leave me alone. Uh, am I a red fox? I'm not really a base. I don't have like a baseball team or really any sports teams that I follow. I'm sorry to say. No hate. I just never got into sports. Um, I honestly don't even know all of the sports teams. And honestly, also, sometimes I don't know which sport a team belongs yeah, to. Take your time. Um, what's Diamond City have to offer? A bunch of stores that yell at you if you touch anything. And a mayor that yells at you if you say anything. So it's kind of a do nothing, say nothing place. So what brought you here anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Mm, you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's going to help you, it's him. Thanks, kid. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. <laughs> is that all you got, kid? Hey, I already gave you a free paper, free advice, and a free recommendation to the detective agency. My charity quota is full. Got me? That's fair. Okay, bye, kid. Hold on, I want to read... Also, wait, sorry. You did a good big yawn! It was very cute. Okay, hold on. I want to read that uh, 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 paper that I just got. The buh, buh, buh. I forget what it was called. The Synthetic Truth. Noodles. We all eat them, and we all love them. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied the sustenance for the past 15 years, from the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese, to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the scalding tang of deli each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m., enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own Mayor McDonough sidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing. Yes, eating noodles, the shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 200 and, wait, sorry, 2229 as they sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles but ice-cold nuka-colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night, he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening. 
Although some of the city's school residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti-ghoul decree of 2282. Oh, that's mean. But there's one person among us, Amogus, who does remember, distinctly, the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting at the front of the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now, 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall, we all were, so what was the harm? And let me tell you, that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. I didn't, it didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile, and his laugh, and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night, at the bar, we were all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word, or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just wonderful. Until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening, and the moment when things turned sinister, and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on, must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in hit that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheek started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him, clear as if it just happened yesterday. He reached inside his coat, then he took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as, e as casually as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Synths. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people, too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed a man who'd flipped his lid, gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early since, you see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now. Among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to trust his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles, specifically the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonough last Wednesday night in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for the members of the human race. They were wrong. Are we? Are you implying that the mayor is a synth? And that he's being controlled by a shadow organization? Is your neighbor really human? We have the exclusive. Oh, and they have a little, um, shop shop. You can't stop the press. I don't plan to, girly. I'm just looking around. Is your sister home? Piper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Ooh. You do that? And, uh, I'll tell you what. 
I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. I think there's a magazine in here. It won't count as stealing? Okay, thanks for the hint. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Normally, uh, my instinct is to never say yes to the press, but uh, it's a video game. Okay. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. Uh-huh. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Um, yeah, I didn't actually, in my perspective, I spent very little time in there because I was forced to sleep. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Y uh, yeah. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. I'm a grandma. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Um... There's no option for I miss my husband and my son. Like... <laughs> Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here... Rebuilding the world, it it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. <laughs> 230 oh, years old, not a single wrinkle. Question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? I should be clear because maybe someone will have heard about my baby, Sean. My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. Mm. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. Truthfully, I have no idea. Oh man, is my baby gonna be a synth? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. Oh? The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Um... Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> Yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? I you just got here. Wealth and eventually someone is going to get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? Um... No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Cool. Oh, each companion when you max their relationship with you will provide you a perk? Oh. Oh, what the hell, Pipe? Piper, Piper, Piper. Someone Thanos snapped Piper. I was just reading. I was just reading chat and I was going to ask her to join my party, but I guess she's gone. So I guess she had more important things to do. Oh, now that we're friends, I can take all her stuff. Cool. Thank you. Um, thanks, pal. Um, ooh, Piper's terminal. Article. Oh, okay. Yeah, I read that. Um, 
Reader complaints file. Reader complaint, honor the wall. In your most recent edition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the mighty wall in the defense of our town against last month's super mutant attacks. I find this extremely offensive and will not be purchasing another copy until such disrespect is publicly corrected. Published response. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. Dear whack job, two members of Diamond Security died defending this town. God dang it. Happy story? I find choice of topic sad. How about a happy story? Maybe something about nice bar? Published response. Thank you for your feedback. Our stories are selected for relevance and importance to the Diamond City populace. Badum, no story about your bar is going to end happily. <laughs> uh, for shame. Your paper's just trying to drum up fears about synths to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. Public response. Thank you for your concern. Our paper makes significant efforts to ensure all our stories are accurate and free from editorializing. Personal response. Thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched. Oh, man. Yeah, the haters. Public perspectives archive. Paramore? Dear public, I am torn between two loves. On one hand, I have my profession. Every moment I spend with the young up-and-comers who, for whom I work brings such joy. On the other hand, I have my coworker, wise, patient, debonair. Many suggest that I am not lively enough for him, but I can picture life with no other. I long to confess my feelings for him, but my life is my work. Trying to add a relationship, it would simply shortchange everyone. I must choose public, but who? Dear pair, love is rare. Two? Doubly so. Make it work, pair. You work in the same building, for shucks sake. <laughs> Teen Troubles Dear public, me and my little girl have been on our own for a long time now. She's the most important thing in my life, but lately it seems like she's not as interested in hanging out with her papa. I understand she's got to grow up someday, but I'm not ready to let her go. What can I do to make sure I don't lose my little girl? Dear Troubles, your girl's becoming her own person. Let her make decisions, screw up, maybe throw some extra caps her way so she can take her friends out for noodles more often. Then, when she's ready, she'll come to you. Yeah, I think that's actually not bad advice. Desperate in Diamond City. Dear public, I've been living in Diamond City for years now, but I've never been able to land a girlfriend. I wear nice clothes and give them free drinks, but they just seem to think I'm some sort of creep. My boss says I've got a face only a mother could love, and I think he's right. I feel like I'm out of options, public. Should I take the plunge and change my face? Dear Desperate, ever tried talking to these girls? You should give it a go. No more trying to buy your way to affection. I was gonna say, here's the thing. Um, I'm like, yeah, in theory, buying someone a drink can start a conversation with them, but like, uh, uh, I think I saw a really interesting salient quote that was like, you come off as a creep when someone cannot determine how much of a threat you are, right? Like, Creepiness is really just like, are you going to be a danger to my health and safety, right? Like, that's really what creepiness is, is like, I can't tell what your intentions are, and that makes me wary of you. So the best way to not come off as a creep is to just be honest about your intentions, right? Um, that's my two cents anyway. Uh, but also, more importantly, buying people things doesn't owe you a relationship with them, I hate to say it. So please don't buy someone a drink and then expect them to talk to you, because that's not how that works. Sleepwalking the beat. Dear public, I got this job. It pays the bills, but lately it's making it so I can't sleep at night. Things have been so tense, I'm getting worried that it might that if something doesn't change, I might slip up and get myself or someone else hurt. Any advice? Dear beat, sounds like you have to relax more. I know after a hard day solving other people's problems, I like to grab a Nuka Cola, pull out a stack of comics, and read till I pass out. Give it a try. <laughs> Just wear a shirt that says not a creep to let women know you're not dangerous. <laughs> Best way to get a girl, treat her like a human being or make friends with her cat. Ideally, both. <laughs> Dear public, I could use a friend. Everyone in this town is either jealous of me or afraid of me because of how I look and who I work for. I'm not willing to compromise who I am just so people will like me more, but it just gets so lonely. You seem like a smart gal, public. Any chance you want to grab a drink sometime? Dear alone, going to have to take a rain check on that drink, but your instincts are good. New friends crop up in the most unlikely places. You just need to search them out. Ew, don't try to ask me out through my job. Leave me alone. 
Oh, hey, you're not dead. Hi, Piper. See, I love having... Just looking for a hand. I love having dog meat as a follower, but I think... I want to have a human follower and see what happens. My way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Dog meat! I love you! Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Um... You can go to Sanctuary Hills. You'll have friends there. You can you can protect everyone there, dog meat. Um Wonder Glue. Uh I'm looking for a skill book. Take that rat away. Um. Check the floor Maybe by her bed. Kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Uh. What am I missing? Mmm. Infinite Companion mod? Nah, nah. I'm fine taking turns. Am I... not seeing it? Might have been misremembering. Okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't overlooking it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I appreciate the thought. Uh, Diamond City, where is this? Oh, cool. Wanna see if you can make enough money to buy a house? I guess it would be a good idea to have a house, because then I can have uh, safe storage, right? Becoming friends with new people can be awkward, but starting it off with a friendly convo should start it in the right path. Yeah, like... Citizens, but it's home. Don't be wrong, I get major social anxiety, but I think, you know, you'll find your people. You'll get it... used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore them like I do. Miss? Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Ooh, and then I can fast travel the house? Alright, let's see if I have enough junk to sell. But let's go... Oh, you know what we should do? We should go find uh, Mr. Nick. Oh, <gasps> hello, cat! I wish I could pet the cat. Alright, so let's go talk to Mr. Nick. Valentine's Detective Agency. Nick Valentine is such a... Wait, this is the mayor? The mayor has an elevator? We're gonna have to come back to that later. Um, I was gonna say... I was gonna say something. Uh, Nick Valentine is like the most detective name I've ever heard. Oh, is this the stands? Hey, I don't you have a boot to polish somewhere? Hey, Wally. What you got? I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. There a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my senses indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Oh, uh, ew. Not looking to buy right now. Go away then. Shoot. Love the classism bot. That's fun. All right. Well, I don't want to be up here because this is full of stinky people. Um, let's see. Where's Nick? This way. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. All Faith's Chapel. Hold on, I can't get distracted. I gotta go talk to Nick. If this is a big city, is though. One of those things, it's that Today's Halloween. Of but his, do we get treats? No. It's all tricks. Mm -hmm. all day. Um, Diamond City Surplus, Commonwealth Weaponry. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Hello, Percy. Home plate. Is this him? No. Um, 
This way. Oh, there's the school. Detective, I found it. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow Wait, today is Halloween in game? Oh, look at that! It is. They put out decorations for Christmas and Halloween. No way. The hell is that supposed to mean? That's awesome. You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. I want to check Newcomer, out the Freedom huh? Trail. Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history Hold lesson. Hold on, wait, how did you, you see decorations? Oh, is that why there's the plastic pumpkins everywhere? I was wondering why there were plastic pumpkins out. That's awesome. That's fun. Greenhouse? No. Valentine Detective Agency. Ding dong. Hello. Mr. Valentine? Oh no, Mr. Valentine is gone? Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... No! He's gone missing. Nikki's missing. What has he gotten himself? Into I did not time? see that coming. We have to de we have to detect the detective. Oh. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Oh. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Yike. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. Oh, nice. Piper liked that. Cool. Anything to find in here? Nope. Okay. Well, time to go hunt down the detective. Uh, here's the door. Nope. Eh. There we go. Oh, wait, there was a magazine? God dang it. Ah, oh, barnacles. Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to have to go through the loading screen again. Okay, hold on. I, I thought there might be something under the bed, but all I saw was the suitcase, and it's all currently marked as stolen if I take it, so hold on. Psycho grain it cap. I'm not seeing a magazine. Oh, bottom bed. My bad. This one? Eh. Oh! The mysterious stranger. Case, the mysterious stranger. Sightings of a man dubbed the mysterious stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old U.S. for years now. Best case, the man's an immoral lunatic. Worst case, a prolific serial killer. All anyone knows is his M.O. Appearing suddenly, killing without remorse, disappearing without a word. The stranger has no known accomplices, no clear method for selecting his targets, no calling cards left behind. Sightings range from the NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Last thing this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Time to start putting together the pieces to put this one away. Description. Human male. Outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guys, taste. I'll give him that much. One man? Multiple men? A ghoul with minimal scarring? Might explain the long passages of time between sightings. Appears and disappears suddenly, suggesting pre- 
preternatural infiltration abilities slash access to advanced cloaking tech. All but earliest descriptions suggest the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perhaps like this make me wish the... Oh, sorry, God. Perps like this make me wish the Institute had sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Sighting locations. Commonwealth confirmed. Capital Wasteland confirmed. NCR old rumors. Shady Sands, really old rumors. Well, I'm gonna just yoink that. Wait, that's actually so goofy. So Nick has been casually investigating the mysterious stranger. <laughs> that, that is actually quite fun. Um, that's pretty great. Uh, thank you for pointing that out to me. Okay, um, so we have to find Nick, but... Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. I kind of want to see the rest of this place, though. This is awesome. Hey, I'll be right back. What do you mean you'll be right back? Where'd you go? Piper? Piper? Hey. Point the way. Hey, Piper. Talk to me. Are things all right between us? I guess I'm still on the fence. Show me you want to make lives better out here. Then we'll talk. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Oh, nothing. Okay. Cool. Oh, the magazine was on the desk? Oh, my bad. All right. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll grab and we go back. Um, oh, she always randomly asks people questions. That's kind of fun. That makes sense. Oh, what is this? Who are you? Oh! What's the mayor waiting for? Don't touch the paint. What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Everybody, Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? I would like what do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Mind. Only one and place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. Ooh. How does that sound? First is the great... Oh, uh, yeah, that's one way to get a house. What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Yeah, okay. Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. I just think he's a synth even more now. He's so full of shit. Yeah, I'm with you, resident. I agree. This guy is sus. All right. Um, let's go check out some of the other stores and see if I can make enough caps to buy a house. This sounds like something a synth might say, right? Like, I just can't help but be like, you're more suspicious now, man. Like, I hate to say it. Oh, cool. This is the dugout. Oh, the security office is in the dugout? That's fun. Um. I don't move, Synth. What have you done oh, to shit. Real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a Synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Please don't Put shoot. Put the gun down now. Yeah. He's a Synth. He'll kill us all. <gasps> Kyle, no. What the hell? Okay. Show's over. They just murdered no a dude! Diamond City. Hear me? He's There's fully human! In my hands anyway. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. Oh my lord! My you can't save him? Oh, that sucks. What happened? I'm I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. There are I mean, no force warning markers! <laughs> 
This poor man yeah. needs more than a minute. This poor man needs therapy. Oh my Lanta, what did you do? Move along. Oh man. Yikes. Oh, Takahashi's a robot. Wait. What's everyone still standing around for? Hey Takahashi. <laughs> Wait, they got like a Japanese bot that makes them noodles? Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he yes. understands. Noodle cup. 26 caps? Can I sell anything to you? I can sell things to you. Oh, but he has no caps. Oh, I understand. Um, okay. That's all he says. I like him. He's he's cute. Oh, can I sell you my junk, Arturo? Me. Beans, what time is it? Looks like it's daytime. Oh, Myrna? Hey, you? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Yeah, do I, do I have to bleed? What do you want from human me? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I've got a few minutes to browse. A bit of everything. Okay. Um. Is this a known bug where a merchant only has... Four caps and no inventory. <laughs> a bit of nothing. <laughs> Check the time. Okay. All right. Let me have a seat. What time is it? What time is it? Summertime. Um, oh, that's because it's okay. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. All right, so let's try now. Myrna, the robot handles the store at night. Bother him. Is it considered night right now? All right, I'll wait a little longer. The crafting sound is the smithing sound from Skyrim. It's the same sound effect. That's funny. All right, now it should be morning. Good morning, Myrna. Can I sell my junk to you now, please? I want to buy a house, maybe. Hey, Myrna. Every piece in here is worth what I charge for it. No arguments. Sure, sure, sure. I'll take a look. Here's what we got. Okay, there we go. Now you have some caps. Uh... Uh, I can just keep selling stuff to you to get more money. Oh, shit! My game crashed! God dang it! Oh, I haven't... Uh... God, please... Please work. Oh, there we go. It didn't crash. Okay, I fixed it. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, that had me really nervous, man. That had me so nervous. I was like, I don't want to do this again. It just didn't work right for whatever reason. Um... This chest piece is pretty cool. I should really equip it. Yeah. What's my current chest piece? 5 and 12? Yeah, let me equip 
the uh, big guy. And... Um... Sorry, I'm trying to think about what weapons I want to hold on to. I don't need two rifles, do I? No. I wonder if this is the same saving bugs as Skyrim. Does Skyrim have saving bugs? Okay, I need to buy more things from you so that you have more... Things for me to buy from you. Okay. I don't know if any of these need to be sold. I think I can keep all the miscellaneous stuff. Junk I can keep. Mods I can keep. I didn't really make many caps from this, but I did get more ammo, so I guess that's good. Alright, I'm gonna save before I lose everything again. Sell ammo? Why would I sell ammo? I want to use it. Um. Oh, Solomon. Hey there. You look like you need a prescription filled. Something to settle your nerves, let you chill. I think this guy was mentioned on the computer in. I'll take a look. Sure. Sanctuary, gotcha maybe. I know that drugs have purpose, but I don't really want to be using them, so I'm just going to sell them for some extra cash. Okay. Uh... Oh, actually, um, let me buy some stim packs. Thanks. Bye. And here, okay, yeah, so he makes uh, healing items. And this is probably the hair parlor. Okay, cool. Um, food, I'm guessing. Okay, let's go find Nick. How about that? Skyrim had a pretty nasty saving bug in the sense that saves can corrupt from being too large. I don't know if I've ever run into that before. Oh, the 38s for pipe rifles only? Oh, because I think the 38 was used... Did I use the 38 in Fallout 3? Now I don't remember. Um, But that's good to know. All right, so I'll just sell that next chance I get. Hopefully I can get some cash from uh, these raiders who uh, kidnapped Valentine or whatever the hell happened with him. Actually, how far is he from me? Good neighbor. Okay. Well, this can only go well, right, Piper? Oh god, that's right, Hale! You did mention the water purifier thing. I should maybe set that up. A fan sent Bethesda 2,240 bottle caps. They gave him a copy of Fallout 4. <laughs> that's fun. That actually is. That's quite great. I don't like pipe weapons. Yeah, I don't think they're very good, so that's good to know. I'll just sell it then. Raider scum. 
Where? Oh, there you are. Cow, cow, cow. Oh no! You're a dog is mean. But I get a bandana. Ow. Ooh, I leveled up. Uh. While you do that, I'm gonna just take all of this stuff and sell all of it uh, back in town. I'm just gonna take everything I can carry. How about? Hope you made your peace. Um, where are they? Oh. Oh God, Piper! I almost shot you, girl. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is one way to make some money, right? Ooh, come on. Ah, oh, beans. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can have her carry my stuff. Perfect. Um, I did not put that chest piece on. Thank you for reminding me. Let me do that. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Um, there we go. Um. Carry something before you cripple yourself. All right. Oh, I want to take those pink hands. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just grab a bunch more stuff and make Piper carry it, I guess. Ah! I didn't mean to fall down here. Shoot. Is a bobby pin heavier than a feather? That'd be pretty silly if that was the case. Why is there a mannequin here? Just hanging out. All right, this is not where I need to be. Um, all right, let's do perk stuff before I forget. Thank you for the Revivalman reminder. I just have to figure out where it is. Perception, thank you all. Rifleman, let's go. Do I not have... Confirm. There we go. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> okay. Uh... Why is there mannequin here? I asked that because there's mannequins everywhere. I guess it's smart, yeah, as a decoy. Alright, cool. We're just gonna sell all this junk I just picked up, and hopefully I can scrounge together some caps from doing that. Oh, but I need someone who has caps. Uh, to sell to. Hey, you there? You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Let's see what you got. Baseball history, right here. Okay. Um. Uh, it's not a ton of caps, but caps are caps are caps, am I right? Oh wait, I have to remember I can sell my uh, ammo. So let me do that. The point thirty eight rounds, right? Uh Cool, thank you. 
Rockville Slugger? Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can buy shipments of cork and wood? Oh, probably for your settlements, right? I'll accept it. I know I'm going to lose a few caps, but uh, it's fine. It's just a fail. It's a few. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca-Cola. Hey, Sheffield. Cola. Can I give you water? Oh, I feel bad for that hey, dude. You're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Uh, okay. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Okay. I'll have to pick up a Nuka Cola because I don't think I have any on me right now. All right, I can definitely draw, sell some of these because I already have a hunting rifle. So, well, yeah. Sell that. Um, I'll sell more of that ammo. Uh, sorry, I have to do that. Cool. Hey, I have enough caps for a house now. So, who... hey, how about I introduce you to my confidential informant? Girl, put your oh, talk gun down. Thank you for meeting me here. No. What? But we've been traveling together for ages. Uh, sorry, Blue. The jig is up. Takahashi told me everything. Web of lies. Gone. I mean, I bet your name's not even Blue, is it? <laughs> Paper. Um, who can I talk to for buying a house? Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. Hey. Ollie's house. Mayor's office? Okay. You Thank you. Oh, there's a dugout in. in. That's fun. Alright, uh, I can go this way to get to the mayor. Hey, you're that vault dweller. From the paper. Right? Yeah, this way. Fun fact, Noodle Robot Takahashi is a parody of the movie Blade Runner. When the main character, Deckard, ordered noodles at a restaurant he went to, the owner parodied the line, Nani ni shimasuka? <laughs> Ooh, seamless. I didn't expect that. This is honestly a really cool uh, city design. So you have like, the main people are in the actual uh, field and then other people build their houses in the stands. That's like really fun, honestly. Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Uh, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. Ooh. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Ooh. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. I have a house. Oh, my house it's is called the Home Plate. Shut up. That's so funny. Um yeah, okay, well, let's let's go check out my house real, 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 real quick. And then we will go get Nick, I promise. I'm not going to get distracted, or at least I'll try not to. Is the schoolhouse... Did they put a school bus on top of the schoolhouse? <laughs> at least there's not giant walls splitting it up like Vegas. Yeah, that's the thing. I get why they had to do that. It's because the game was just not able to process the information. But I still liked the design of New Vegas. It still felt like a very big city. You know. You get an achievement for running the bases? Wait, where are the bases? They're not like buried by everything? Hold on. I want to open home plate. It's my house. 
Oh, wait, I get to decorate it myself since it's like a, you can build everything yourself. That's cool. <gasps> There's a doggy bowl for my boy. Oh, this is exciting. I get to decorate it however I want. Oh. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm not. Oh, wait. <gasps> sniper rifle! Yeah! Yay! I got a sniper! Ha ha! Oh, wait. This is also safe storage, right? Um. No, I have to not get distracted. I have to not get distracted. I'm gonna put some things in here and then I'm gonna go get Nick. Otherwise, I'm gonna just try to decorate the hell out of this place, and I- that's not the point. Not today. <laughs> I'll probably end up spending a stream just decorating stuff, but not right now. Junk jet, I want to store. Um, also... Uh... I can sell one of those hats because they're uh, redundant. Okay. And then... That's everything. Okay, cool. We're gonna go. There's also an achievement for getting a home run, aka getting hit with a mini nuke. <laughs> no thanks. I don't want that. You can store in your workshop too. Oh, I understand. Okay. No but but butler like in Megaton. Boo. I'm guessing um, since the player can furnish the home themselves, that may have caused issues with like the robot clipping into things or something. I could be wrong though. Hey, you in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Oh, fun! People read the paper. And all the workbenches you need are in the market too. This is genuinely a great place to like do base work. Then, <gasps> hello, Mwah. little cat friend. Okay, for real this time now. <laughs> for real this time now, we're gonna go save Nick. I I got the caps I needed. Uh, so let's go save him from a bunch of raiders. I'm very excited to try out this, uh, sniper rifle, though. Yeah, Diamond City, from a, 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 like, settlement design is really gen- Like, from the concept to the execution, I think it's actually very well done. Um. I think it's- I think, like- because they could have easily just, you know, put a bunch of, like, physical walls around some apartment blocks and called it a settlement. But I think it's fun that they were like, what if we made Fenway Park a settlement, right? Like, that's just a really cool line of thinking, I think. Actually, let's nice, nice, nice save. Also, based on your internal PC time, the city will change its decor. I really respect that they spent the time to do that work. That's awesome. Earlier people were talking about, um, you know, it's a surprise that people are still celebrating like holidays, like Halloween and Christmas, but I'm guessing they probably celebrated them in the vaults too. So vault dwellers can keep sort of bringing these holidays to people. <gasps> oh, oh, he's evil. Oh, oh, he's mean. And he's really strong. Why? Why are you so mad? Oh. for you. I thought I could talk to him, but it turns out he was mean. Uh...
Oh, one HP. Dartmouth Professional Building. Isn't this what that iBot was talking about? Still kicking? Jesus. <laughs> Dang. I'll take it to sell it. I don't even think this is the right way. No wonder people live in Diamond City. Everything around it is so dangerous. What was that? Legendary enemy has mutated. What the f What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean legendary enemy mutated? Huh? Why is there a legendary enemy here? Legendary raider? I don't want to fight a legendary raider. Oh boy. They have two health bars? Oh, frig. Oh, hey! I'm alive! Man, Dance gave me a real good, uh... Ooh. Gave me a real good thing. Hold well, on, let me equip that. I don't think this is where I need to be. No, I'm getting there. Okay, this'll work. Oh, he's gonna try and ruin my day. Ooh. Oh, you know what I want to try? I want to try that snipey rifle. Oh, shoot. It's a big old turret. I did it! Nice. Maybe this is not where I need to be, though. Well, since I'm in the neighborhood, anything here for me to take? Cool. Uh. <gasps> Frig! 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 Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! Okay, hey, I'm alive. Okay, oh man. I forgot I have sprinting in this game. I just remembered that. Sprinting wasn't in these games for so long that I just kind of forgot. <laughs> um, can I go this way now? No, I can just keep following this main road. We'll just do that. Emergency frequency found. Oh no. What the frick is blowing up? What? Who's that? What's that? No one. Someone there? Oh frig! Oh frig! <laughs> oh god. Okay. Yeah, good thing I auto saved, right? Um so so maybe we don't go this way. Oh, emergency frequency lost. So I gotta go this way then. Hold on. On peak. Still in one piece. Haha. Military personnel including non-military family members, will be turned away for matters of national safety. 
Lou, we're not alone here. Yeah, girl, I know. Back for more, huh? DB Technical High School. This guy has so many throwables. Jeez. I don't want to go in here just to kill this dude. I wish that some subtitling showed up because I heard something, but I don't know what it said. Ah! I think they left. What was that? I lost the sequ the frequency again. Um, I think I gotta go back where those super mutants are, and I really hate to say it, but I think that's what I have to do. Find it. Wait. I hear something. Gonna splatter your brain. All beans, all beans, all beans, all beans. Oh, this was a bad idea. Ooh, this was a bad idea. Okay. I know I said I wouldn't get sidetracked, but I want to- I don't want to forget to, like, get whatever this quest is. Aw, oh, beans. That's a big dog. Alright, let's grab that laser weapon, because that's definitely better. Uh, da da da. It's entirely optional. Oh, okay, then I'll just skip it then. I thought maybe it was gonna lead to something. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Save. Okie dokie. My body hurts. There we go. Uh, I'll have to go this way then. There are none like me. Oh, frig! We're just gonna run from that, and hopefully they don't chase us. <laughs> there are emergency frequencies worth listening to. That's what I figured. Um. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. Especially because of like, uh, that's how I got the quest with the um, uh, bah, 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 bah. the pa the Brotherhood of Steel ah. dance. Hey, something's out there. Sugar. Girl, yeah. What do you think I'm crouching for? But I'm also hurt. Oh, that's a big boy. A legendary enemy. Don't 
Don't come close to me. Dead yet? Beans. Oh, hey! That didn't kill you? Oh! That killed me. Dang it. <laughs> Dude knocked me off a roof. Oh, gosh, shoot. Thanks for hanging, Wiggles. Have a good one. What was the hockey button? Oh, I don't know if I found it yet. Oh, there it is. It's F. Hell yeah. Now that I know that, let me favorite this guy. Cool. All right, well, I don't want to go up to that rooftop because that wasn't really doing me any favors. What enemies with a skull next to their name are a higher level than you? Yeah, I figured. Okay, if I go through that street, I'm going to get ambushed by a bunch of higher level dudes. So, oh, wait, no, that wasn't the street I took. If I take this street, I might be safer. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet. Bad idea. Now don't start talking crazy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, should be around here. Might be off huh. by. Here and shit. Hey, think out there. Let's not go that way. Hold on. We'll just go up a different block. Downtown Boston is a haven for crashes. Oh, thank you for the warning. Oh, I appreciate that. Okay. Looking good. What's in here? Blue. Ooh. We're walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here. All right, well, you wanted me to find Nick, right? So what do you think I'm doing, girly pop? All right, cool. So if I just go around here, it should be up on my left. Swan's Pond. Be careful. Okay. Silver Shroud Radio Signal. Fancy. Oh, no. Dead body! Torn letter. What does the torn letter say? You know how much I miss you, but it's too dangerous. If you stay in Diamond City, at least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night, stick to the river. Whatever you do, don't go to the common. Just well! To waste, otherwise. Uh... What is here? Oh no. Are you mean or are you nice? Oh. At Journey's End, follow Freedom's Lantern. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the Freedom Trail. Feast your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston common
Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Okay. Oh, man, I really want to do this, but we gotta go save Nick. I'm gonna come back for that. Because that seems like a really cool quest. Um, and I want to go look at cool landmarks. I like history. I think it could be fun. Oh, wait. Enhanced targeting card. Oh, thank y'all. If you want to see, save and walk into the wake. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see what... Yeah, everyone's like, oh, the commons are bad, but... Uh... What could be so bad about it? Okay. What is this? What the freak are you? What do you mean Swan is a guy? What? Woo! I wonder if I can live through this fight. Also, the... That lake is hella radiated, man. Leave my friend alone. Ah! Oh, he's running! Oh, I'm dead! Oh, I'm dead! Oh, oh, I'm gonna die! Oh. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, maybe we come back here when I'm not made of glass. <laughs> here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> nice. Cool. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. That's a lot of radiation. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh uh yeah, I didn't I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought quite frankly I was expecting maybe like a kraken or something. Uh not that specifically. Okay, I need to get back to that building. I should also unradiate myself maybe a little bit. I didn't mean to take the radix, but it's fine. Yeah, Good Neighbor's entrance is uh, 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 right around the corner. I just gotta go find it again. He does drop a lot of fiberglass because of the boat fragments. Oh, that's fun. That thing don't work. Okay. Ding dong! Hi, I'm just here for my pal. Whoa. Here's another question, though. What was he investigating here? Wait, you're going into Park Street Station? I thought I was supposed to go here. I have a quest marker here. What am I doing wrong? Hold on. Yeah. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Excuse me, fine gentleman. Hmm? Take a load, a good spot. Can't stay here! Move up! <laughs> I like how they're all dressed. That's fun. Pow! Pow! Everyone's all Whoa! dressed all fancy. Now. 
Man, I like Piper. I think she's kind of fun so far. Right, because she's holding her own. She's an investigative journalist. She got a... She got gumption. You know what? I'll sell your suit. Why not? Oh, wait. I want to get in there. Yeah, see? Got that dog for dame flinging lead, see? <laughs> what the? What do you mean, what the? What the nothing? Shush. Shut. Capstash. Ooh, Save terminal. Rats. Make me. Purchase tickets. Function terminated. Employee notice. Dear employee, I regret to inform you that your station will be closing due to a purchase agreement with Vault Tech Corporation. As such, we will be going through our records and redistributing our many valued employees to other stations and departments. Oh, that's right, because there's a Stop. vault down here. What? what? Where are you? Hello? You in the bathroom? Rules I gotta loosen up. I got the fidgets. Hello? You pooping in here? I don't know. Who is there? Oh, they're below me? Okay. I was confused because I was like... Oh, there's traps? Thanks for the hint. Oh, the bathroom scale was armed? I thought I was just going to pick it up. Did they really trap the toilet? Yeah, it looks like they did. Yoo-hoo! Pow! 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 That one's better than expected. Hey, something's out there. Blue, we're not alone here. Got him. Come on. Pew. One more hit. There we go. Beans. There we go. Squirrely, I am doing my best. You just throw a traffic cone at me? There we go. Who jumped the toilet just in case someone really needed to drop a bomb? <laughs> Excuse me, Piper. There you are. Ooh. For other journalists. Yeah, probably not, pal. I don't think journalists are usually b b doing this kind of thing. Uh, I can carry something if you need me to. I forget that you can carry things for me sometimes. I like that they have submachine guns. That's fun. Um. Let's see. Anyone else drop anything useful? Um. Where 
am I looking to go? Is that a door? Ooh, it is a door. Beans. Come on. There we go. Got it. Oh, she likes when I break into stuff? Is it because she's an investigative journalist? And so investigating is fun to her? Oh, whoops. I think I accidentally triggered a trap. Oh man, I should level up my um, security next so I can do expert level safes. I'm never going to remember to come back for that. If you like submachine guns, keep an eye out for a wandering trader called Cricket. You know, I don't know if I like submachine guns. Let's find out. I was just thinking it'd be fun if I put on a fedora and a suit and I uh, matched their style. Ooh! Oh, same thing. Piper likes it when you kill your fingers. <laughs> she likes uh, uh, someone who's dexterous around some uh, locks. Uh, boop, boop, boop. I probably shouldn't have my uh, flashlight out. Oh, Mr. Nick. He's being kept in a prison cell. I don't know why they wouldn't just kill him. Not that I want them to. I'm just saying, right? If I was dealing with someone messing with my situation, I'd probably just get rid of them, right? Like, if I'm a, a criminal with no moral code, what's the point in keeping him alive, I wonder? What was that? That was hey, me. They're here. Yeah, I know, girlfriend. Oh, that was bad aiming. Hold on. Oh, this is hard to aim. I don't like this. There we go. the vault. Vault 114. Vault door remote access ready. Sweet. Ha! <laughs> Screw your security measures, bud. I think it's interesting that vault Tech intentionally wanted to, uh... Put a vault in a subway station. Nothing's here. Nothing happened. Don't investigate. Um. Come on. Who's there? Me! What the? Come back. Good shot. 
Oh, you killed him? Oh, no. I got him. <laughs> I can't believe I was, I was like not thinking that he could just go around. Oh, that's embarrassing for me. <laughs> um. Ooh. What's in here? Non potable water access. Vault Tech Terminal! Confidential, confidential, confidential. Welcome, employees. Greetings. After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to the newest addition to the Vault Tech family, Vault 114. Like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavor, but we are not quite ready to open that great big gear door to our new residence yet. As you've probably noticed, we're, we've contracted outside of vault Tech for construction on this one, since it is utilizing a unique space. By repurposing the former Park Street subway station, we will be seeing a decrease in building costs as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly with the vault Tech's observational... Huh? How do I make it keep going? Studies. Figured it out! Which will be revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of this, we will be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction is fully completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. They also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome once again. <laughs> Buki is hello. We are exploring Vault 114. Private, science staff only. Warning, this memorandum is only for members of Vault 114 Science Division, or those with appropriate security clearances. All others must exit this terminal immediately. Social Science Division. As mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting, hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabitating solely with owners, others of Boston's upper class. However, the quote-unquote luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single room apartments, dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position for many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment, or harm to others. I mean, uh, I guess, you know, stick it to the man. <laughs> I will say, I don't love that it just immediately tells you what this vault is all about. Like, it kind of would have been fun to sort of uncover the vault myself. Ooh. That's just me, though. Um, like, uncovering the secrets of a vault is fun, you know? So having it just be like, here's exactly what this vault was designed to do. Like, I wish I could sort of um, discover for myself, I suppose. Excuse me. Did anyone order a dog girl on delivery? I have I have a delivery for um um stupid Malone Sl Slim Malone. Oh, I, I don't remember his Why name, but it don't matter. Build a vault out of a subway station. This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Oh. Certainly seen better days, Wait. haven't it? The hell? Nothing here but us rats. And a dog. What was that? I haven't made a single shot. There we go. I have redeemed myself. God. <laughs> Those were some wide shots on my behalf. Man, imagine surviving the war and surviving the bomb drops just to die to some nerd in a vault, right? Like, kind of sucks for these ghouls, I gotta say. Hmm. 
You don't see nothing. Beans. just some nerd a nerd who missed the first six of her shots <laughs> that's my point like these poor dudes are like oh i've survived worse this can't possibly go wrong uh and then i just double fist some stim packs and they're like bruh what <laughs> you didn't just you didn't what do you mean there ain't nothing here what was that huh bud I'm just trying to find a baby. Y'all, if you just give me Nick Valentine, this doesn't have to end in violence. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey. Ow. Rude. Light bulb. Am I walking slow because my limbs got hurt? Why am I why am I walking slow? Did I hit caps by accident? What did I do? Fedora? I'll take a fedora. Oh, it's cause I'm carrying too much. That'll do it. <laughs> Duh. Um. Some machine guns are heavy. Who knew? Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I gotta be selling pre-war money. I keep forgetting to do that. Cool. Okay. Oh. Well, so much for exploring that room. Oh, there's nothing to explore. Oh wait, was I supposed to go this way? I think so. Um. No, I think this is right. Sorry, Piper. Yeah, this is right, okay. I feel bad fighting all these ghouls, but they don't sound like they're good, so I guess there's only so much I can do. Um uh, take a fuse. Take a metal bucket. Uh Hello? Okay. My gut says shoot the guy who's ominously standing there, How but I'm doing in there, Valentine? wondering Feeling if we can talk. Hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Okay, while you go do that... Bellathor is the detective. I was gonna say that voice actor sounded really familiar. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I was hoping this would take me up topside, but I do have a need for oil. 
Okay. Offering. Was that you? Dino sees me. Kidding. His name's probably pronounced Dino. Ooh, I got the door password. Nice. Um, and I leveled up. I really want to get a better um uh hacky uh security. I want I want expert level security. What do I need for that? I wonder. It's probably gonna be under the perception tree, maybe. Expert locks. There we go. Aha. Bethesda likes using the same VAs, but they do a great job. I have no issue with that, right? Like, I think it's great. You know, people get to have consistent employment and they churn out really good performances. Ooh. Brig. There we go. Sweet. That doesn't super feel worth it, but okay. Nar! Nar! Uh, Piper, come here. Piper. Piper, where are you? I got stuff hey to give. You. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming. I'm getting the door open, pal. Please would be nice. Hello. Oh, there's Bobblehead. Oh, are I you the irony of the reverse a synth? Scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? This guy's a synth, ain't he? Uh, not to be rude. What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. His design is so cool. Um. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Interesting. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Sounds good to me, Valentine. Uh, I really Perfect. wish Piper would come, though. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Hey, where to? Oh, stop talking real quick. Uh, uh, Valentine, I got stuff to do. Previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Welcome, employees. Greetings, Overseer. I hope this message finds you well and your move into the, your new position has been an easy transition. Your employment as Overseer came with high recommendations from our interviewers, and we hope you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Please do not be nervous, as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision-making skills, and unique personality. We believe that you possess innate abilities as a leader that will bring this vault into the new nuclear war wait into the new world nuclear war creates so don't worry just go with your gut and everything will work perfectly uh good luck perfect hideout stop talking i want to investigate this place i think that's everything okay Ignore all the corpses, bud. 
Wait, so everyone knows he's a synth, right? Oh, but they probably like him because they know he's a synth. Is that the situation? Nick. You really want to do this here? With these human cockroaches around every All right, corner? fine. Hold on. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? You know, Sneaky. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? What? Peekaboo! I wouldn't say like so much as tolerate. Yeah, that sounds right. Some healing. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Nicely handled, sir. Hard and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Oh wait. Aw oh, man. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. It. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Nice. So he's like a rogue type, huh? America lives on in you. Oh whoops. Oh well. Fine. What the? A lot of nifty toys in here. Yeah, I'm with you, girl. Also, lots of toilets. Ooh, Ooh excellent. Astoundingly awesome tales. Oh, I'll take that Nuka Cola bottle because I'm gonna need that for what's his name. Nothing. Am I freaking seeing things? Yep, you are. Comfy pillow. This looks like a pretty nice place to hole up, if you ask me. Good, good. What's in here? Ooh, lots of really good stuff in here. Should probably help Nick, though. Cap stash. Hey, stop that. Leave him alone. Kitchen space. Ooh. Reserved instant mash. That won't have rads in it, probably. Stairs? Who built this damn fall? Fitness instructor? <laughs> Still run. <laughs> Whatever you dish out, I do you double. Even break it. Goodbye. Not that it's an option. Uh hmm. Oh, that's sad. A little room for babies. A little nursery. Where'd he go? Oh, I can open this. Uh, 
No! You know, they probably should be some kind of flinch mechanic for NPCs. That'd be interesting. There we go. That's it. Oh man, I can't open that other safe. Ooh, tuxedo. I'll be so fancy. Um. Get him alone, and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. Okay, thanks for the warning. Another lock. Ooh, Vault 114 jumpsuit. Be too hard. Okay, I got it. Okay, let me just get a save in. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Okay, I'm gonna hide back here then so I have some cover. Or not. Oh, I have to go? Okay. Hmm. Oh, Piper can open it? Can she open master locks, though? Probably not. Right? Aw, oh, beans. I should be picking up the tin cans. Thank you. Because I, I was hurting for aluminum, too. What are you doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy. Shall I want that dress. You left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the- Oh, that sucks. Dala, I'm handling this. Why is this guy dead? Jimmy Malone's always got things under- I'll make this quick. So long, oh, what? Did I upset them? <laughs> I guess investigating made them upset. Be bothering anybody now. Oh, you have to stay during the conversation? Oh man, I <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll like do looting while they talk. Okay. Well, so much for Skinny Malone. I think he's lighter or heavier. Oh no. Here we go. What are you doing? You're coming to my house? Stop Shoot wandering like a lost child. I'm neither a child nor lost. I just wanted to loot. <laughs> I wouldn't be I'm just getting greedy. Alright, I would like to quickly heal myself. I mean dame, skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by Oh, a this girl. is the beginning of the vault? I'll just run back home to oh, that's why there's the dead body. Oh, I'm seeing it now. <laughs> this is the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private... Why is Kenny talking to us now that with his back facing us? I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Do you? Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. No, I am not here to rub anyone, ma'am. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to please throw your work. Life away please with these work. Dogs. Please work. Don't you try to confuse Frig. me. Get him, Skinny. Should I try and save her? Should I reload the save? Is it worth it? Because I kind of want her dress, if I'm being totally honest. Oh. Oh, wait. You know what? I forgot. I forgot that, um, sorry. I forgot I can save during dialogue in this game. Sorry to make you all listen to this a third time. Um... 
But hold on, I totally forgot I could save during dialogue. You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. Save her or steal her pants, the most difficult decision for a dog bird. Nah, ultimately I should try and send her home. I don't know what possessed her to fall in with this organization, though. I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private- Yeah, 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 skinny. We, we hear you. You're a big, you strong man. Ah, oh, God, you're making me so bored, I'm gonna fall asleep. stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Yeah, I sure you do. Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. There's other places you can find that dress? Hell yeah. Good to know. What's the deal with you people and Nick anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone. Mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. How do y'all know each other? You and Nick know each other? <laughs> it's troublemaker here used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. Um... Look at yourself. Darla is playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. You're... You're right. Things have gone nothing but south since she walked into my life. What are you talking about, Skinny? I'm saying you're dragging me and this whole operation down a bad road, toots. We're through. Oh, spicy breakup. Fine, then. I'm going back home. I don't need you, you fat ass. Always gotta hit you where it hurts. Now, what am I gonna do about you two? I know. I'm gonna give you until the count of ten. I still see your ugly faces after that. I'm gonna start shooting until there ain't no more bullets left in this whole vault. You better get out of here. Fast. Okay, sure, bud. One, two, three. All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Nick. Come on. You coming with me or not? Hold on, he's going the other way. Oh, I didn't even know this was here. Cool. Back bay. Oh, survival difficulty. Is the struggle of this world merely a pleasant game for you? Do you long for more brutal take on the life lived post-apocalypse? If you answered yes and yes, survival difficulty is for you. Give Nick some time, he's all skin and bolts. <laughs> oh gosh. Not on good behavior, Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. You always pry this much into the motives of your traveling partners? Just the ones I find particularly interesting. Oh, I have a weird dialogue glitch. It. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is... Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Um... Why not just give people what they want? What they want? I'm trying to give people what they deserve. The truth. Mm. Sure, it can be scary. 
knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide. Today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Hmm. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and I just want to raise her friendship. You don't know what you're facing. Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Mm hmm Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Quincy? My dad, he was no. part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. <laughs> well, uh, one day... Our dad turns up dead. Oh, no. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was going to leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. That's awful. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. You saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. Interesting perspective. Hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who... Who actually seems to get it. You know? So... Should we head out? Yeah. Uh, well, let's talk to Nick first. Hey, Valentine. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. <laughs> you now, should. You mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Cool. Nice. Yay. I have a new... I, I'm guessing he's going to be a potential follower. Um. Neat. So. Okay. I actually want to go back to the common. Because I want to do that quest. Um. The Freedom Trail quest. I want to I wanna look at all the monuments and stuff. I think that sounds like fun. Survival difficulty is for those who spend their spare time in bondage and enjoy whips. I don't know if it's going to be for me in this game. Certainly not for a first playthrough. I like the survival CC in um, Skyrim, but... I don't think I would ever do that on stream. Like, I like I like doing the whole, like, you know, make sure you're resting and eating thing, but I don't know if that'd be fun for stream to have to constantly micromanage all of those different stats. Um, although, I will say, it's kind of busted if you play as an orc, because you have really good stats when you're in orc in survival mode. Um, I'm looking for... I want to try and follow the freedom trail. They said follow the lanterns, right? Tell me more button. At journey's end, follow freedom's lantern. Right? Hold on. I'd follow the red trail, right? This one? The brick? Freedom trail marker. Seven and A. Some sort of code. Hold on. The Freedom Trail, Boston. Seven A. Okay. 
Cool. I'm excited to do this. We'll do this next time. I want to do a little a little scavenger hunt for that. I promise we will do. Uh, we will talk to Nick again, because um, I want to know more about his whole situation too. Uh, but I don't know. This seems like an interesting quest, and I'm excited to try it out. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm really sorry that getting started was uh, messy. Uh, I'm gonna try and investigate the controller issues um, before next time. I think I know what went wrong. But it's hard because my entire setup for this game is, like, <laughs> the equivalent of duct tape and glue, man. Uh, sometimes it's real hard for me to uh, get this game to work. <laughs> Good stream. Thank you. I really did have a lot of fun. Um, uh, first stream I've set all the way through. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I try to timestamp uh, my, my uh, live stream VODs. So people can skip the parts where maybe I'm just, like, getting lost in a ruin somewhere. Um, but I really am enjoying this game a lot. I I don't know. I can't stop thinking about how fascinating it is that Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and Fallout New Vegas are all games published by the same company, and yet they're all so different, right? Like, that's not a criticism. Like, I really think, like... I get why some people didn't like this game, because it, it is really, like, a big divergence uh, from, I think, the franchise. Um, but I'm having a good time. I'm excited to do more settlement stuff at some point. Maybe I'll just dedicate a whole stream to <laughs> to, to, to really uh, digging my heels in and decorating my new house and stuff. But, um... Thank you all so much for joining me. If you're going to watch the Super Bowl, I hope you have a fun time. Uh, I'm going to leave so people can do that if they want. And if not, enjoy your weekend, you know? And uh, I'll see you same time, same place next week. Thank you all so much for hanging. And I'll see you all next time, Howligans. Goodbye for now. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>